Assassin's Creed. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> or movie. <laughs> Dude, read it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I... You know what? Since I... D <laughs> <laughs> Can't have to say what's wrong with you, seriously. You're like dying of boredom. No, how can, how can you do a view of a movie of Assassin's Creed? How can yeah. you make a movie you have based off the game franchise? You have no. How 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 do you how do you do that? How do you make a how do you make a movie based off of Assassin's Creed games? Oh well. The Knights of Templar were looking for the Apple of Eden in 1492 Spain. This is the time of the assassins. The assassins are looking for the apple as a sign of being alive. Years later, Cal Winch, played by Michael Fessbender, wakes up in a place after being executed by lethal injection. Not really executed. Kind of. But we don't know yet. Hmm. Continue. Sophia Wacken, played by Oscar winner Marion Cotillard, a scientist and head of this laboratory named the Ostica, a private organization to... Obstergo. Abstergo? Abstergo. A private organization intended on making humanity a safer place puts Cal in a experiment with a robot Animus. called the Animus. Is that right? With this device, he becomes Aguilar, an assassin who exists only in memories. For 500, 500 years ago. He's been dead for 500 years. The Templars are a clan that is hell bent on gaining control, and on top of that, the Assassin Order. They are trying to hunt for the apple themselves. Another thing is that for the good reason. Yeah, everything. He, ev another thing is that everything that he sees in the Animus as Aguilar, he slowly starts to become him. Aguilar is also one of Cal's ancestors. He was he was the one who knew where the apple was, and now the Ostiga are, yeah. Wants him to locate where exactly Adagar hid it and find it before the Templars do. The apple can gain control. The, the apple can control anything and anyone if it gets to the hands of the Templars. Basically, there's also this thing um, called a bleeding effect, which is basically seeing who. basically hallucinations. The bleeding effect happens way too often. You can here. also learn skills. Aguilar, well, mostly like in just like the normal Assassin's Creed game that you play under. Uh, if you play Assassin's Creed one before and uh, play Assassin's Creed two, whatever, you learn the skills from your own your own ancestors. If you play Alpha Year, mostly in Alpha Year, you don't like they don't show that you learn skills. You learn like you learn eagle vision. I didn't see any eagle vision in this. I wish they. Incorporated with that, it'd be kind of cool if they did that. And um, they didn't show Eagle Vision, but they do in the Assassin's Creed games. And in Assassin's Creed 2, most of they show like skills that you learn in Aguilar when you see like a cow learns skills from Aguilar. He gets all the skills that he needs, learns all the assassin abilities that Aguilar learned. When you're in the Animus, you learn all the skills. When you get hurt, it's the bleeding effect. When you, it really hurts. If you die... No, they call the bleeding effect um, when you see hallucinations. Yeah, I'm saying when you die in the Animus, you'll die in the original place. So if you die no, in... No, she said, you're seeing things, that's what we call no, the bleeding what effect. what I'm trying to say is that if you really die in the Animus, you will die in real life. That's what I'm trying to tell you. In, in the real Assassin's Creed games I've played before, when you, like... When, when, if, for example, if Desmond dies... In Assassin's Creed One, for example, even though he did not die, but if he does, if he did, if he did die in the Assassin's Creed One, if he died, um, he'll probably die in real life, because it's a bleeding effect. When you get stabbed or killed, you'll feel the pain of what happened, and you'll start to see things. See, and also, but you'll also learn skills of your ancestors: learn eagle vision, learn how to fight, learn how to use abilities, learn how to use weapons, things like that. You'll learn everything. Learn how to jump off a building. That's kind of cool, by the way. I like the leap of faith. Oh yeah, that's cool. Well, we forgot to mention that the reason why the apple, the apple of Eden, is so important is because um, the apple has a generic code for free will. There's also and more apple if, obedience. Yeah, and everywhere. If, and if, <coughs> and, if, and, the if and if a Templars <coughs> and if a Templars gain control over the apple, Coach. then they will destroy 
everyone in the um there are more Apple the, this laboratory company. What's this it called? Ab Abstergo. Abstergo. Yeah. What I'm saying is that there's actually more Apple of Eden, the more Apple, there's more of the Apple everywhere in the map. In Assassin's Creed One, you know the ending of the story, ending of that chapter, you will see Altair finds more of the Apple hidden in different temples, but mostly in this movie they have they only found one of the apples. I don't know if that's the only apple in this movie. Or there's more apples in the other itself on the map. I think they, they didn't show that in this. I wish they had told us it could be more. There's more apples around the different uh, like around the map, and he find he finds the apple. He finds there's a map. It shows there are more uh, more apples around the map. That would have been kind of cool. Go in different places, find all the apples. The Sanskrit one they showed that. That was really the reason why the Sanskrit one was really interesting. It, Exciting is because they made a sequel to it because it was open, open for a sequel of the game. That's the reason why I was so in endorsed in the game in the franchise because after a Sanskrit one to um at the Astro collection, they're all good except the fact that Sanskrit a Sanskrit two. But good yeah. news is that uh, Ubisoft actually funded this movie. I hope, they I have, also were hoped, actually participated. I also so hoped, at least. So at least they're trying. But another thing is, I hope Ubisoft also. And one thing I wanted Ubisoft to do, I wish they could have produced this movie too. If they had produced they did. it. No, I mean, I mean, if they directed it actually. You mean the people who worked on the games? Yeah. I mean, if they directed it on this game, do you think the movie would probably have been good? Probably, I think it would have been better if they developed uh, more of the characters. Why? Why are they important? Why should we Do you care? Think they can bring down um, the air explain, this? explain some things. Like, I saw. I, think, I would. I hate it. I saw a poster. I remember a poster. It was called the uh, Assassin's Creed: The Peace of Eden. I remember that. That was the first original title for the movie. It was exactly like that. After they, they totally changed everything. They uh, just called it Assassin's Creed. No, they actually mm -hmm. totally changed everything. I saw the first poster. It was called the Assassin's Creed: The Peace of Eden. That was the original title of the movie. Mm -hmm. But the, the, there was like Alta Year. Like right now, it's gonna no, be. No, no. Remember, I saw the poster. It was like Alta Year. I saw it was like Alta Year's uh, hooding, hooding and everything. That was like Alta Year right there. Mm -hmm. That I thought they were gonna bring Alta Year to the big screen. Oh, but it was so amazing. I didn't think. I thought that. Like I know what you're talking about. I, I, mean, I hadn't seen it yet, but um, I've only seen the posters that just said Assassin's Creed. But I did see the poster. It was on the internet. I pushed it on the internet. It just said Michael Fassbender, Assassin's Creed. If they brought Alta Year into this a big screen, you you would actually see. Like they could have. They I'm not saying copy the movie exact. Uh, copy the game exactly. No, that I I think that's what made it. That's what would have made it better. Okay, fine. Because the, the reason why movies based off of games don't work is because they deviate from the source material. The Super Mario Bros. movie did it. The Mortal Kombat movies did it. The Street Fighter movie did it. Any Yui Bowl movie that is based Where's off of a game <laughs> did it. You know. Okay, if they're gonna. Um, okay. What's, it, what's another example? I'm what saying, was that saying, one? If you're gonna call. Um, I'm saying the if... Hitman series. I mean. Films. I mean, it's like. They deviate from the source material. That's why they tank because fans of the games, you know, can't recognize um, the source material. They just can't. They can't understand what they're trying to adapt. They can't figure out what um, what they're trying to do. And so, I, honest to God, wish that somebody. I mean, Warcraft works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kind it's of the official Assassin's Creed theme. What the hell is a Rockstar theme doing? In the the Assassin's Creed, that was really weird as hell. There's like two pop songs in this, that, this and only is, one of them is, you can understand. That is that's not, another thing I need to that mention. That is not the Assassin's. That forty percent of this movie takes place in Spain, and you think of it. Oh, that and I forgot is, to mention Jeremy Irons is in this. But that, I forgot that, to that mention is that. Not Jeremy the Irons. Assassin's Creed theme at hold all. Hold on, hold on. Jeremy Irons is in this movie as Dr. Alan Rankin. He's a Templar, obvious. Um. So yeah, we have two Oscar winners in this, one Golden Globe nominee, and the movie didn't even have the courage to explain half of what they're adapting. See, first of all, they should, they should have followed the Assassin's Creed original game. That's oh what my I'm god, say. exactly. But See, if here's they the did, thing. They, they have, did, okay. Altair would have been a perfect character for this game, for itself. 
he could have been a perfect character. They should have brought all the good characters into this game, uh, into this game, into the big screen. If they well, did there's that, more. There's if they did that. There's more. Yeah, I know. There's, um, there's more sequels. There's more. But if they actually brought all the year to this big screen, they could have actually made a sequel to Assassin's Creed 2. Then it could probably be a perfect storyline. We'll talk about out the year first. Then talk, and after that, talk about Ezio. Then talk about um um uh, Bad. Brotherhood. Then talk yeah. about Revelations. Then go to um Connor. Go to um, other stuff. This guy from Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag. This, this guy from Assassin's Creed Rogue, and that other guy from Assassin's Creed Three. I'm saying but that if they go to like MF this, female, um, MF female were from Liberation. All I'm saying. Except that one. I'm just saying is that. If they went through like this, this could probably be a sequel, except the other Assassin's Creed games like Syndicate doesn't make any sense and other random crap. But yeah, if they followed like this through Assassin's Creed 3 or where, wherever it ends or whatever, it could probably be, become a good trilogy. Perfect series. I think it could have worked. If they it followed it. Worked. If they followed the game, if they followed the game, but no. See, here's another problem. But this is, that's tried. not the only problem. one prob thing they did correctly. Yeah, but they, tr they were always trying. But that's not the only problem that the movie version has. But I have a bunch of things to say about this, too. So this might be a two-parter, just to warn you. Um, first of all, um, <clears throat> I cannot understand certain things about this game. Okay, movie. Um, okay. This company, this company has the ability to... <clears throat> Sure. Essentially, we live memories of people who have been for dead for 500 years. Cool. How do you do that? How were you able Memory, to... Memory. Mind. How do they use the animus to essentially get the memories to work? How are they able to, to get the memories in the first place? How are they able to memorize that everything so clearly? How are, they, how are they able to fund this stuff? How are they able to... With money. They use you know what I mean. They use that from their brain. Hold on, hold on. They how have a brain memory in their brain. But how are you able to get the memory off of someone who's been dead for 500 years? They use the animus, it plugged into their mind, it synchronizes with their brain, it goes all the information that uh, people. Let me tell you something. In the game itself, they explain how it all comes true, right? They actually show when Desmond Mouse is in the animus, he gets. He can't get to a point in the memory. Because mm -hmm. he has to go slowly to his memory. He can't, he can't just, he can't get, he has to be eased into his memory. For this one, he's not eased into, he's actually pushed into the memory right he's away. He's thrown in there. He's thrown in there, but if they actually like slowly went in the aspect like where, like I can't get inside this memory right away, I have to slowly get inside. It would probably be excellent. The, the, the memory um, thing goes in the brain of the, the animus actually um, when you're uh, when you're actually plugged inside of the animus, right? You will uh, uh, you will see things that you have not seen anything before. The animus will read your minds, uh, uh, check if you have and uh, like if you have like memories of an ancestor that you. The animus will see like. But they don't explain that. They all they say in is the game that they do explain. We it. have memories of your um of your ancestors who's been dead for 500 years we want you to go in and that's all they say they don't remember say remember Chloe there like, was a scene there was a scene in the movie where where all she, the information where, that he knows um, about Cal where Cal and, and the, where Cal and the scientists are talking about um the remember? significance of this whole thing and not once do they mention how they were able to do all this like how was they able to make it possible at least with she did Warcraft say that. At she least did say that I think you missed it. Probably, but at least in Warcraft, they were able to explain um, the backstories of these different but um, you get creatures would and you environments. Get this movie on DVD? Maybe good. just to see it again, but I'm but just saying just certain, that I'm, all I'm saying is that there's just some things that are not explained or briefly referenced I'm to the point saying, where people who don't even know the franchise, like me, who's only new to this will probably have a better understanding if they explained it. And I'm they saying, don't. That's my I'm, biggest gripe. Oh, and another well, thing and another thing I forgot to mention. Um, this movie is forty percent Spanish. When they go into when Cal goes into subtitles though. True.